And that's our big story this evening at five. Vice President Pence making good on a promise to come back to southeastern Wisconsin a week after postponing to visit Turkey. He is promoting the Trump administration's USMCA trade deal, but there are many opposing the economic policy. Casey Cronus spoke some of those protesting Can the I vice president's visit today. Mm -hmm. But we're going to start with Amy DuPont, who spoke to the vice president just Thanks, about sorry. an hour ago. Amy. <laughs> Well, Vice President Mike Pence wasted no time during that interview. He talked a lot about the USMCA agreement, but also made his pitch to Congress to get the work they done needed to, to focus on the American people and less on politics. Hi, Amy. Hello. Vice President Welcome Mike Pence wasting no time during our one-on-one -on -one interview, making his pitch to Wisconsin voters. We have an opportunity uh, for the Congress to really focus on the American people, focus on what's most important, which is moving this economy forward, and that happens when the Congress approves the USMCA. The Vice President wants Congress to pass the United States-Canada-Mexico trade deal, an agreement the VP says will boost Wisconsin's economy and create more manufacturing jobs. I think when the American people look at the USMCA, they will see it as a win for Wisconsin in the city and on the farm. The Vice President is calling on Congress to vote on the USMCA and end the impeachment inquiry. Today, Republicans stormed a hearing calling for more transparency. The Vice President says he understands the frustration of Republican lawmakers. Would you have taken part in that event today? I'm someone that really believes in transparency. And uh, I, I think that when you look at the history of uh, impeachment proceedings, they've always been conducted in the open. There's no historical precedent uh, for what Nancy Pelosi and, and Democrats in Congress are doing today. I think the American people deserve better. They deserve an open process. And uh, I think that's what uh, those Republicans in Congress were calling for today. I also asked the vice president about Milwaukee Mayor Tom Barrett's letter to the White House. As you may recall, over the weekend, the mayor sent a letter to the White House asking the president to consider hosting the G7 summit here. Now, that would be a summit of world leaders. The vice president's answer might surprise you. We'll share it with you coming up at 6. For now, we are live in Pleasant Prairie. Amy DuPont, Fox 6 News. So you're telling me there's a chance. All right, Amy, thanks.